Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion and today I want to talk about Oblivion Gates and they're really boring to raid to me. Oblivion Gates are probably if you look at all the dungeons in Oblivion, Oblivion Gates are the most boring ones to raid and um, there's a couple reasons why in my opinion they're really boring to raid. First of all, when I had um, my first character, I focused on Oblivion Gates more than anything else, so, you know, for me, raiding Oblivion Gates is pretty boring, because I've already raided a bunch of Oblivion Gates, stuff like that. But beyond Oblivion Gates, um, it really inside of them is where it gets boring, you know? Inside of the Oblivion Gates, it can be really boring, because, first of all, you, you know, Oblivion, the color palette is, is red. Like, the, the color palette of Oblivion is red. There is no color, other color palette to Oblivion. It's red and black. So that can make it really boring to just go through the Oblivion gates and you know, look at it, do it that way. But beyond that, there's no enemy variety. And there's terrain variety over enemy variety. And in Oblivion, like, th this thing that I believe in is that Oblivion, the, the caves and forts that do better, is enemy variety first and then terrain variety, you know? Because if you replay this game, like right now as I'm recording this, I am I am just raiding the Kavach gate. I've raided this gate like 10, 20 times in my life, you know? I've literally just done the Kavach gate. You guys might see uh, the Kavach gate in the background of this video. You're probably gonna see the Kavach gate in the background of this video. I've used the Kavach gate at least two times, maybe three in a video. This will be the fourth one or the third one, you know? So it gets boring because I've already seen the Kavach gate. I already know what's inside of it, you know? You open the gate and you go to the towers and you find a key. You know, there's no, there's, there's no variety in the puzzles of the Kavach gate as a dungeon because I've already, I've already, you know, done the Kavach gate dungeon. There's no variety. So, that's really the big thing is there's no variety in there. There's no enemy variety either. Like, I mean, you fight the same enemies. Yeah, there's like, for instance, Clanfers, right? You fight in Clanfers. And then you fight some of the Dramora spiders. I like fighting them because you don't get to fight them. And then, in the end, you always fight the same types of enemies. The crocodiles, the blue guys. Everything like that. You fight the same enemies in the Oblivion Gates every time, and it's just so boring. It's boring because you're like, oh, it's a different coat of paint with the same enemies. You know, it doesn't make it fun. You know, it really doesn't make it fun in, in this game. And it sucks because uh, Oblivion Gates are different like that, where you have this, like, you know, the caves, and you have the forts, the... There is no terrain variety in there. I mean, there's some, some cool ones, but there isn't a really big amount of variety, right? But in the Oblivion Gates, there's a lot of variety, but there just isn't that enemy variety that the other caves offer. I mean, if you go in a cave, you don't know if you're gonna fight undead, you will fight necromancers, wild, anything like that. But in Oblivion Gate, you know what you're gonna fight. And I think that is what makes Oblivion Gates boring. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope, you know, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. Maybe Oblivion Gates. Probably not Oblivion Gates. Yeah, you might see Oblivion Gates in the background. That's because I wanted to make it look cool. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.